Okay, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time watching, uh, I hope you like the video and I hope it's useful and helpful. And if it is, please leave a like, subscribe, and a comment below. Uh, for those of you who have been watching, like a 50 some per percent, I believe, that haven't subscribed yet, I hope this video uh, encourages you to hit that subscribe button. Uh, but this is uh, a really, I really like this tool, so we'll just jump in here real quick. First, I'm going to grab something. Uh, Let's see. Let's make it practical. So I'll just, yeah, I'll just grab a circle here real quick. Uh, change it to yellow. Uh, change it to yellow, and then hit F4, and just kind of draw me a little circle out there. And you, usually, what you do is offset it right and uh, uh, extrude it and uh, sweep to or whatever, and put a line in there. But there's uh, there's another way. If you if you go to your offsets. Uh, where is it at? Here it is. Uh, offset, and you go in here. Uh, you just have your regular offset, through point on surfaces and stuff like that, and your normal. That's a really cool tool. Uh, but uh, I'm going to show you something a little bit different. I'm going to go down to my command line and type in uh, ribbon offset. Okay, and hit that. It'll tell me to select my curve, and I'm just going to select my curve. And then I just need to choose which direction I want to offset it. And I'll just go to the outside, make it easy. And I can't tell if you can see, uh, but the the surface is already there for me. It's it's already there, uh, and it get pops up th with this box here. So this is really hard to see. So what you probably uh, want to do is, uh, in order to be able to look at it better, is uh, scroll down. Uh, the tech is uh, pretty pretty good for this particular one, so you can see the surface. Uh, you can. In your dialog box, there's quite a few options, so I'll try to explain them real quick. I'm not going to go into detail on a lot of them, but uh, um, we'll talk about some. Uh, first one is uh, offset distance. You can just click on there, use your middle mouse scroll button, and you can adjust the size that you want. So right away, you have a lot of control over that offset. Uh, you're not having to go back there and drag anything around or whatever. You can just go in here and set it. Uh, and then also, uh, the blend surface, This it's not going to really matter too much on this one. Uh, but you can, uh, uh, when it has sharper curves, it'll uh, uh, change those curves a little bit. Uh, blend offset controls the approximate radius of the blend. Uh, curve uh, so uh, it's used to trim the intersection corners between the offset curve segments so if you have a lot of curves in your and there's a lot of points in there you can kind of open those up a little bit uh, for the surface it, it's kind of hard to explain it without showing you but uh, you should get in there and uh, draw some different kinds of curves and play around with it you'll see what I'm talking about uh, the do not change offset curve is exactly what it is it will not change your offset curve uh, you can rebuild your offset curve with extra points or less points so you can go in here and do the scroll and of course uh, less surfaces are usually uh, better right so you can kind of uh, mess around with that uh, we'll just keep it around whatever uh, <laughs> there's fine uh, refit uh, refit uses the tolerances to set the curve uh, so you can see it kind of jacks it up it's the, uh, the tolerance the points pulling on it uh, and you can change those uh, in here I'm just not going to mess with this I'm going to go back to do not change well rebuild uh, to the seven because it's a little bit better actually I'm going to bump it up a little bit make a little bit more rounded there uh, and then right here you have a choice you can do a s none which is just an offset curve uh, or you could do a sweep two, uh, which is what it's doing it's just sweeping it around for me I don't have to do it uh, or you could do mixed mixed on this particular it doesn't have uh, lots of sharp edges or curves going around so it's really not going to work on this particular uh, uh, just circle but if you have a lot of angles and stuff uh, this is a, a good one to use because then you can go back and manipulate those uh, uh, points where it turns you know where all the face or faces start showing up real tight you can widen them out uh, but it's not going to really work on this particular curve uh, but here's our uh, surface here of course you definitely want to have the preview turned on um, 
and of course the output cross sections what it's going to do is give you certain of those cross sections going across and then output output curve segments gives you the edges of the or the ribbons wherever they're at so you know this is considered the ribbon part all right uh, I'm just going to real quick kind of show what it can do so uh, you know this is one thing it can do and then you can with sweep 2 you also have the option to add a slash in there so if you want to just go through and add an extra slash or something like that uh, you can do that uh, in your curve uh, and then you just have to hit enter and it comes right back up so you can change it. I'm going to take that down to about a 2 uh, and we'll just go ahead and accept it alright so we have our, our surface out here so let's go back to uh, a view where we can kind of see it and we'll change that to uh, green so right away it, it just gives you the surface and you have a lot of control over how it gives it to you uh, and then I'm just going to uh, extrude that up a little bit, maybe around here. Uh, and then I'm going to take it, I'm going to go ahead and explode it. I could have extracted it. Uh, I'm going to get rid of that surface, and I'm going to get rid of that surface. That one, and that one, and that one. And then what I'm going to do is go in and uh, go to my surface menu. I believe it's uh, from object. Let's see, edit tools, no merge, where is it? Oh, right here, blend, I'm going to take blend and just blend. And I'm going to come down here, as soon as it pops up, chain edges. And then I'm going to select this edge and this edge. And it, uh, you know, it chains all those edges together because they were different segments. Uh, and then I'm going to hit enter. So I have this. So I'm going to go ahead and lock that. And that way, when I move the it moves both of them equally if I went to position it would make it flat there's not really you can do much with that uh, tangency uh, curvature kinda changes everything uh, I should probably talk about what G3 and G4 is at some time uh, but right now uh, I just want to make this video really quick uh, and I'm going to make just a little donut for the most part and hit OK and I'm just going to take all that and uh, join it together alright so we have this okay so we have a little donut that we can make a ring with alright I'm gonna let's see I'll drag it over here it's pretty big isn't it so let's uh, go to transform uh, and uh, let's orient it uh, let's do a uh, Oh no, we want scale, sorry. Uh, where's my scale at? Oh, scale right here. Uh, uh, we'll do a 3D. Uh, this object, hit enter, and we'll just kind of go right in the center here. And make it a little bit smaller. Just a little bit. And we'll go ahead, just to show you how quick you can, uh, well, I guess this is really quick. Uh, you can uh, put something together. And there's my ring. I'll go ahead and take it. I'm going to take that and go to transform. Uh, go to array. Uh, wrong one. Uh, go to array. Uh, linear. Three of them, that's fine. Take that. I'm going to go to my uh, mid there. I'm going to hold down shift and uh, just kind of put them kind of close together but not real close to my snaps on yeah I'm gonna turn off my snaps hold down shift uh, bring them in a little bit so that they're I know they're touching a little bit and then I'm going to go to curve uh, and get a line curve and I'm going to uh, kind of get a better look and I'll, I'll turn on snaps that's always a good thing and I'll go to my quad go down here to my quad and just draw a little line and now I'm going to take my curve here and uh, go to surface well actually I could just do a line that's fine I go to line go to F4 kinda draw it up to kinda where I want it 
Uh, I'll click there, I'll take that, mirror it over to the other side, F4, hold down shift, and I'll take my curve here, and I'll split it with my uh, curves here, this one and this one, and hit enter. I'll take that curve and delete it, and that curve, I should have saved it. Uh, and then I have a separate section here. Uh, so, and I'll actually take this bottom half just so I don't click it on accident, and we'll just hide it. Well, I can't turn that on. Uh, we'll take this and turn it to red, and then we'll hide that real quick, just so I won't click it on by accident. Uh, from here, uh, we'll go to our transform. Uh, and we'll go to my one of my favorite commands. Uh, I love it. Uh, it's flow and flow along curve. Uh, it says right away, select objects to flow on curve. We're going to take these three objects. We're going to hit enter. It'll tell us to pick our base curve. That's our curve that's underlying under our objects. So we want to we want to pick on the end close to the one end, and then we want to go up here and pick close to the one end here and it throws them up there, right? So let's bring back our rail here and let's take our rail and our uh, red rail and we'll join those back together. And we'll go to our tools, profile placer, go to our right view it looks like and we'll uh, hold down sh uh, kind of give me a little strange curve. Let's hold down shift and pull it around. Let's see what it looks like. Yeah, okay. And we'll drag that curve into our object. We'll go to here. We'll go down a little and yeah, something like that. We can drag that up a little bit more. I don't think mirror will work, but we'll try. Yep. Turn that off. We'll slap another one. Well, actually, let's just click on that curve again. Go to edit. I want one down here at the bottom. Hold down shift. I want to go to my uh, mid quad. What's going on there? Oh, everything's turned on. What? What's going on there? Uh, let's turn off all this stuff. I want my quad. And we'll swing that one around. We'll make it a little thicker. You, I kind of like those looks where it comes out on the bottom thicker. And we'll hit enter. We'll take this profile here because it wouldn't let me uh, mirror it, so I'll mirror it myself. I could have went to dynamic mirror. And hold down shift. So I have those. Let's take these, turn them to gray real quick, get rid of them. Hide them. And let's just do a surface sweep here. Surface one. This rail. That profile. That profile. That profile and hit enter and let's do a closed well not really let's uh, back out of that let's close no uh, cap yes bottom one no mirror cap no we'll turn that bottom one off or the start one it looks like yeah turn the start one off click so we can see it oh it goes all the way over to the other one so let's uh, let's deselect that real quick. Let's just select uh, surface one. Here we go. Here, here, enter. Turn off mirror. Let's turn off our start. We don't want that one. We'll take that one there. Hit that. We want to manipulate this a little bit. Went up a little too high. Uh, so edit. Not my sweep. I want to edit my profile. So I got to come well, more ways to manipulate it. We'll go to transform, uh, scale, 1D, from my quad to my quad, and boom, there you go.
There's another way to do it, just FYI. <laughs> and let's uh, let's hide this one real quick so I can see, okay, it's our caps there. And then I'll take that, uh, I'll just do a dynamic mirror this time. And hit enter. Take this, this, join. So we have that and you have a nice little ring that you can start doing all kind of other things with. But uh, just, uh, you know, all kinds of shapes. This is something really quick uh, just to show you the, the, um, the uh, ribbon offset. So basically, one more time, just so you know, because uh, I don't want to pass it out, you can click, make a, some kind of a shape. You can go here type in ribbon offset pick your side uh, change to your tech view so you can kinda really see everything really good and you can start manipulating this you can make it bigger thinner you can uh, do the the blend radiuses mess around with that do not set offset you can rebuild your curve you can uh, change those uh, <coughs> points you can do a sweep too or see here's what I was talking about earlier uh, where it does the curved network here and the sweep to here uh, and you can adjust those uh, offset curves by manipulating here up and down you can see it's changing it slightly uh, and uh, what else preview align sections that's probably much better view for offset when you're using bo uh, sweep two and and then of course these two boxes will leave you the edges so I'll just go ahead and click both of them and hit OK uh, and then we'll just take our surface and hide it well usually maybe it's not uh, let's show it okay let's go back to our normal view and hide it and there you can see it gives you those segments in case you wanted to do some kind of manipulation with it uh, but uh, there you go uh, I hope uh, the video helps and uh, if it does please leave a like and subscribe if you learned something new or found it interesting uh, and uh, leave a comment below uh, thanks for watching good designing